Hello, welcome to Bohan Guitars and Ukuleles. Um, I am going to do something that every time I <laughs> show just a little bit of how I do this, people always ask me about where I get this tool. Or, um, and so I thought I'd do a video on it because I don't think I've done a video before on this simple little procedure. But this is what I'm talking about. So this is the neck with the uh, threaded insert and I thread that on, or thread that in using one of these. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is how to recess the corresponding hole for this so this sits below the head block inside so it sits below so it sits a little bit below the headstock so we can uh, add a label to that area which is what I do so if you This is the area that we'll be doing it to. And the product that I use is this. It's actually a pen reamer. Um, I got this either from Woodcraft or Rock Clear. I can't remember which one, but I'll, uh, I'll post a link to it in the uh, thing below. Um, it's got some writing on it. Don't know what that means. 0 0.9075. That might be three quarters of an inch. Um, well, it's three quarters of an inch anyway, which corresponds to that. I think you can get uh, bigger ones and maybe smaller ones of this. So, this is how I do it. You just have to drill a quarter inch hole for the, which is already taken care of because um, that's what is needed for this. So. Uh, and also, I, I fit the neck pretty well, like 95% there, or nine, maybe 90%. Uh, and then I have another tool, which I think I've shown before. I might do a more professional video on it. <laughs> professional. Um, to insert this, and then... Sorry, wait. I drill this hole first, and I center it here and here just one bolt for a uke, but some people do two bolts, whatever. Um, then I put the drill bit in here, place this in and just push the drill bit in and twist it a bit so it just makes a little mark and then I know where to put that. So that's how I do that part. But this is all ready to go. And that's going to go down in there. I think, I'm not sure if this is possible, but I might try and film this through the side sound port. Yeah, that's kind of going to be tricky to hold, but we'll see. So, just put that in. And with one of these, just Tighten it up, and then you just have to put it on reverse. And okay, this is going to be tricky. 
but for you internet I'm going to try. pull it into um, yourself. Remember this is on reverse. That's probably all I need. went in about one eighth or something like that. And so will sit below this plane and the reason why I do that is um, I don't have one to show here but um, I put a I put a, a label here and I have a similar handwritten label that just goes over the head block here and it has a wax seal on it as well and it's just a I found that to be a, a neat and easy way to do a bolt on and cover it up with something nice and illustrative of who I am and what I do and you know it's a another place to put your name I suppose um, so these pen reamers, I think it was about $15 or something, like maybe in 10. Um, I, I think you just get that part with it. I can't remember. Um, but then I just got whatever this is, quarter inch, um, steel, uh, rod from the hardware store and it looks like I've tapered it a little bit so it goes in and you just have to you know have this long enough so it suits your needs I'm only doing this on guitars and ukes so it doesn't need to be super long it's about 10 inches or something uh, but it's a uh, yeah it's a nice it's just a nice clean way of cutting this hole or cutting this hole, that's not accurate, of adding this little element to the headstock, or head block, sorry. Um, so that is my little tool of the week in a new installment that I'll be doing, not weekly. <laughs> Um, if you like these kind of tips and want to see more, do subscribe. And if you press the little bell thing next to the subscribe button, um, you get apparently emailed when I post something new. And if you want to, if you have a particular um, building element or something you want to see, 
or described or um, gone through, just let me know. I've got, uh, this is a new type of bevel that I've done. Uh, normally I do a normally I do this kind of bevel which isn't complete yet but it's more of the the long lazy curve and down here as well uh, probably a bit more ergonomic I suppose because you this one it has this little lip here, but I mean, <laughs> it's not going to be a problem ergonomically. It's just, you know, where you play or where you, if you're playing here, that's a weird place. And if you're playing up here, that's a pretty weird place. So it, uh, these parts don't make a difference, but this is just, you know, a bit more decorative than that other style. Um, okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.